everyone! I just wanted to start making um, little blog posts or like vlogs about my life in Vietnam just so people can learn about what I'm doing here and so my friends and family back in the US can kind of keep in touch with me a little bit. Um, and so my mom will stop worrying. I know you're worrying mom. Calm down. So I wanted to start this off with five things that I love about my life in Vietnam um, or just Vietnam in general. Uh, the first thing is the fruit. Uh, Vietnam is a tropical area, so a huge array of delicious fruits grow everywhere. Like, they just grow. They, like, pop out of the ground. Um, and it's some fruits that I had never had before, like meat. Um, papaya grows here. A fruit called na. I love it. It's so good. Um, Bananas, they're so much smaller here, but they taste better. Um, what are some other? Lychee, oranges, lemons, limes, everything grows in Vietnam. It's amazing, and it tastes so good. Um, so I eat a lot of fruit, and it's amazing. The second thing, kind of going along with the first, is Vietnamese food. Vietnamese food is incredibly delicious, and it's usually pretty healthy for you. Um, when I first moved here, I think I lost maybe 5 to 10 pounds without even trying, just because the food is so much healthier than the food back in the United States. Um, a lot of it is hot, which I find a little strange because it's a million degrees outside even during the cool season and people are still eating soup, but you, you learn to just kind of eat soup even when it's a thousand degrees outside. Um, the third thing that I love about my life here in Vietnam is public transportation. Uh, it's not like South Korea where there's um, like a super easy to use subway, but they do have a very intricate bus system. So I live outside of the city center in District 7, uh, but to get in to the city center takes me maybe 45 minutes by bus and it costs me 6000 to 15,000 dong depending on like which bus I take um, and that is just to put things in perspective 21,000 dong ish is one dollar so for less than a dollar I can travel just about anywhere in the city which is nice they don't have English maps or anything so without my Vietnamese family I would be totally screwed and I wouldn't know how to get around but I really appreciate that the, that the country has um, great public transportation uh, for especially for Vietnamese people. It's cheap, it goes everywhere, it, sometimes it takes a while, but I'm used to living in a place that's in the middle of nowhere and has meh public transportation. It comes frequently, maybe not always on time, but it's definitely it's quick enough that I can get anywhere I need to go pretty fast. Uh, the fourth thing that I love about Vietnam is the people. I mean, the people are incredibly nice. Vietnamese people are so open and welcoming and everywhere I go people are always telling me how pretty I am and I'm like, in the States I'm here really average, but thank you! Um, and how like, they're just so warm and welcoming and they try and speak English with you or if you try to speak Vietnamese with them, they're so receptive and very welcoming. Uh, so I think this is a great country because the people are just fantastic. So, we have great fruit, great food, great public transportation, great people, and the last thing that I love about my life in Vietnam is just kind of the backpacker culture that exists in Vietnam. I think it bypasses South Korea a lot, this like very vibrant culture of backpacking foreigners. Um, everywhere there's like a section in the city center of Saigon that has like almost specifically for foreigners and for backpackers so getting around Vietnam is incredibly easy and pretty cheap so you can go just about anywhere in the country for if you're flying probably less than a hundred dollars uh, if you're taking a bus way way cheaper than that um, it's incredible how how simple it is to get around in Vietnam especially if you're a foreigner um, so those are five things that I 
really love about Vietnam, there are so many more, um, and I'm sure I'll make whole videos devoted to that, as well as maybe some videos about things that I find challenging about living in Vietnam, or things that I find a little difficult, um, or that I just don't, don't like that much, but I promise you, living in Vietnam, the advantages and the experiences that are positive vastly outnumber the experiences and things that are, are disadvantages or the experiences that are a little rough around the edges. Um, so that was this episode of Mallory in Vietnam. I don't know, I'll come up with a better title for these at some point. So, okay. Xin chào.